Tonight, our community continues to mourn the deaths of Ty and Terry Schenzel, along with Ryan Rubes. They died in a bad crash last week in South Dakota. A vigil is taking place right now at the Hope Center. Before that, the family sat down to talk for the first time about their loss and the legacy their parents have left behind. Matthew Smith now joins us with more. Joe Mallory, it always goes without saying what Ty and Terry Schenzel have done for our community. They founded the Hope Center almost 20 years ago, and in doing so, they've touched thousands of lives. And despite that, their children say that the overwhelming flood of support has been surprising nonetheless. While their legacy lives on, they say there's a lot more to this story. Their parents lived selflessly to a T. In fact, they'd often say, our life is not our own. And my dad would always, he would always just say, you know, I've got no secrets or, you know, always his cell phone never had a lock code on it, you know, he was just um, always a wide open book. Just like the book he preached from, the book he and his wife lived their lives by, the Shenzel family exuded the love they felt to everyone and everyone around them. None saw that better than their kids. They were an amazing, amazing team. Yeah. and complimented each other and were best friends. It's like their roots were even deeper than anyone else saw. When word of Ty and Terry Schenzel's death in this fiery South Dakota crash spread, there was sadness. You can still see it in two of their four children's faces. But there's another side, a joy. It's going to be terrible, but in, in the same way, everyone loved them. Their brother and sister within earshot, Emily and Tyler, tell me they'll miss their mom and dad. But they can't help but point out they were blessed to be their kids. While the couple's time was cut short, Ty and Terry impacted the community they lived in. It showed in the hundreds of people who've sent this family messages, posted messages on Facebook. And of course, there's the legacy they left behind themselves, the Hope Center, a place the two of them founded, a place that's likely affected thousands. And they cared who you were, what you were about, and it's just, it, it helped them to reach so many people. We're also hearing from the Rubish family tonight. Emily, the lone survivor of the crash, is in good condition. Her mother sent us a statement today. She says, quote, We are deeply saddened by the loss of our son-in-law, Ryan Rubish, and Pastor Ty and Terry Schenzel, who were great mentors to Emily and Ryan. Emily and Ryan looked up to the Schenzels in their faith and marriage example. Emily asks that everyone keep Ryan's family and the Schenzel family in their prayers. If you'd like to see the full statement, you can head on over to our website. That's WOWT.com. Just click on this web story.